All right, when solving a problem like this, okay, and we see like we have a we have an issue right now. Um, what we have is we have our our uh, our base three is raised to the exponent of two x. So what we have is we have an x in, in um, as our exponent, right? And so far we need somehow to get it out of being an exponent so we can learn how to solve it. So understanding my properties of logarithms, there's a couple things I need to remember. One thing is I remember that any log evaluate for a rates um, evaluate any log for any number with that same base is going to equal one or whenever we have that is raised to an exponent that's going to eat just equal that exponent so it works for regular logs and your natural logs so that's a very important property that we need to understand the next thing is also our one-to-one -one property that you guys should understand is if you guys remember I talked about this last class period if I have 3 squared is equal to 3 to x, then we know that 2 has to equal x, right? Mm -hmm. And that also is true for logarithms. Let's do regular log now, actually. If I said log of x equals log y, then x has to equal y, right? So what this tells us is we're allowed to, um, we're allowed to take the log of both sides. It's not going to change the problem. So what I, he what I see here is um, I can take the log of both sides. I say, well, why do you want to take the log of both sides? Well, why would I want to do something that crazy? Well, if I take the log of both sides, right now I have base 10. And I probably am not going to want to use base 10 for this because that's not going to do anything. However, if I choose to use log base 3, all right, what's that's going to happen is now I've just created log base 3 of 3 we know is now going to cancel out, right? So I now have log base 3 of 3, which is now just going to leave me 2x equals log base 3 of 8. Right? And then I can, um, well, let's just say, uh, then I just can divide by 2. So this. All right? And if you're going to use your calculator and use change of base form, you can say x equals log of 80 over 2 log three, right? And this good, your logarithms here could be any, you could use any base. Obviously your calculator could use base 10 or you could use a natural logarithm as well. Yes? Yes. No questions? No? Um, I'll find.